Well, pets come in all shapes and sizes, but sometimes their girth can get a little out of hand. That's right. That's why on this day, if you didn't know, October 11th, it's recognized as National Pet Obesity Day to remind us why it's so important to keep our animals healthy. Yeah, senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports. Oh, to be the fat cat where you roost or the big dog in the neighborhood. Yes, we may worship the ground they walk on, but we're not doing our pets any favors over feeding them. Having a healthy, lean body weight is the best thing you can do if you want to keep them around as long as possible. Your pet is overweight if they tip the scales at 10 to 20 percent over their ideal weight. 30 percent or more, they're considered obese. Hey. Dr. Chantel Ragu is an internist at VCA Great Lakes Veterinary Specialist in Warrensville Heights. She sees pets that are pretty sick. Too often, their serious conditions brought on by their weight. They've done studies on tens of thousands of dogs, at least, that have shown that you can shorten their lifespan up to two and a half years if they're severely overweight. We're talking a whole host of ailments, including heart disease, diabetes, some types of cancer, and more. So how can you tell if your pet's at risk? Dr. Ragu walked us through the steps on her own dog, Iggy. The best thing you can do that is the most subjective is to feel over their ribs, and it should feel like the back of your hand. It should feel there's a little bit of covering and tissue over the ribs if the knuckles are basically each rib. You obviously don't want them to be this bony, and you, but you don't want them to feel like the inside of your palm where you can tell that there's too much meat and fat overlying the ribs. So just kind of feeling the ribs, making sure that they have a nice little tuck on their belly is the easiest thing you can do at home. If after that home exam you think your pet is plump, your next step is to contact your vet. They'll help you formulate a good weight loss plan that's balanced, lower in calories, but still has all the nutrients they need. And a word about treats. Dr. Ragu says for all pets, they should be no more than 10% of their daily caloric intake. They may not like it, but in the long run, it's worth it they're gonna feel more comfortable, right? They're gonna feel more playful. They're gonna be able to jump up on the couch and snuggle with you again when they weren't able to before. They're just gonna feel so much better. Monica Robbins, 3 News. Well, the holidays are coming up and that can be a tough time for all of us. So if you are hosting, kindly ask guests not to share food with pets, no matter how cute they may be when they are begging. 